Want to pick multiple items from an Excel dropdown without duplicates? Perfect for to-do lists, smart forms, and more. In this video, I'll show you how to create a dropdown list in Excel that supports multiple selections with no duplicates allowed. And we'll do it using a clean, professional method that even beginners can follow. Okay, let's dive right in. First, type your list in a column with a clear header. Here I've added skills as the header and listed Excel, PowerPoint, Word, Outlook, and Teams below it. Now let's create a named range. Select the entire list including the header. Go to the Formulas tab. Click Create from Selection. Make sure the top row is checked. And click OK. Excel will now automatically name this range based on the header. So, your list is now called Skills. Next, select the cell where you want the dropdown. Go to the Data tab. Click Data Validation. Under Allow, choose List from Dropdown. Click Inside Source. Press F3 to open the name range list. Select Skills. And click OK. Finally, drag the fill handle down to apply the dropdown to as many cells as you need. Using the named range makes your setup easier to manage and more dynamic if your list changes later. Next, let's allow multiple selections without any duplicates. Just right click the Sheet tab, choose View Code, and paste the VBA code that I've shared in the description. This code allows multiple selections in a cell and filters out any repeated values. Simple and powerful. If you want to apply this to a different range, simply update D2 to D10 in the code to match your desired cell range. Now, back to my Excel sheet. Go to the Data tab and click Refresh All. I'll now select multiple skills. Try Excel again. It won't be duplicated, clean and efficient. Make sure to save your file as a macro-enabled workbook. With the extension .xlsm. So the VBA code works properly next time you open it. And that's how you create a drop-down list in Excel with multiple selections. And no duplicates allowed, the right way. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Excel tips every week. And comment below if you'd like to see more VBA tricks or dynamic dropdowns. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.